Welcome back to the Fly Lab. So for today's video, I am actually filming this fly pattern tying demonstration on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. So this has the macro lens and I've been kind of playing around with it just to see is it viable for filming a fly tying video or taking fly pictures. Since they now have a macro feature, it should be. And uh, so far it seems like it could be. So we'll see how this video turns out. If it's good enough, I'll post it. So if you're watching this, then I guess it looks like it's decent. So uh, what I'm going to tie is just a quick little Kabari pattern. This is going to be a uh, kind of like a grave digger, I guess. I mean, I'm using purple haze yarn. That's kind of, I guess, where the similarity ends. But um, for the thread, I'm using a green silk. And for the um, for the ribbing, which I don't think the uh, grave digger has ribbing, but I'm using a copper wire. And then I'm going to use some orange ice dub. I'm going to make this a stiff hackle kabari. The only drawback to this is the phone's got to be really pretty close to the fly. I am filming it in 4K though, which I think will help. So it will uh, allow me to get pretty tight after I'm done shooting the video. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'll just crop it. See the light is in my way too. Okay, so we're gonna use the rotary. I'm wrapping these this uh, spin drift on here. So what I've done is I separate the two fibers because if you've used the spin drift, it comes in kind of a braided piece. It's two separate pieces braided together. I just like to use a single piece. And if I want it to be a little thicker, I can just uh, you know, double up on it or tighten it. Um, or if it's, you know, like a scud or something that it, maybe I want it to be thicker, I just use both pieces and don't separate them. But I think that it's a little too thick for some of these Kabari patterns for me and my taste. All right, so let's put a whip finish in that. And then we're gonna use the rotary again you know, I'm going to grab my hackle pliers. Where are the hackle pliers? Hello, hackle pliers. Okay, let's just apply this ribbing here. If I can, a little bit evenly. And finally, we're going to tie that down. So what I do is I put a couple of wraps behind the wire and then a couple of wraps in front of it. And then I kind of hold on to the, to the thread, you know, in my hand, I hold on to the thread bobbin tightly so that the threads completely under tension. That way when I helicopter the wire off, it just snaps right off. No big deal. And let's add, where is my wax? Okay. So we, I like to put a little wax on the thread for the dubbing. I'm going to use some ice dub, which, uh, especially on the macro lens, it's going to make it look massive. Each of the fibers look like they're enormous, but I like the macro, I like the look of the ice dub. Get a nice little dubbing ball there. Next, I'm going to build out a head. So I like a head on this. Since I'm using this green silk, it'll give it a nice, nice little head there. Next, add some hackle. I'm going to use some stiff hackle. Uh, you know, and I don't know if it really matters what you use. I like the, the grizzly. But uh, you could use a lot of different hackles on this. Uh, of course, I think the standard pattern is to use some partridge, like a soft hackle, which also looks wonderful. The only problem I have with this, with the partridge and you know our pheasant, 
is that it does not float as well as I like it to. So, yeah, see, I'm kind of bumping the camera a little bit, but and the light. But overall, this uh, iPhone 13 setup, I think it's very, very viable for filming, you know, for doing this kind of thing, for filming flies. So normally I use a Sony a7 III with a big, with a big giant expensive macro lens. I mean, the macro lens by itself costs as much as an iPhone 13 Pro. So I guess it, one way to look at it is it's a way to save some money because by the time you get into an a7 III or you know, an a7 IV or whatever camera you use, I like the Sony's, but they're all good. Um, and then a macro lens, you know, you're probably at least three or four grand into it. Of course, if you get a phone with a lot of storage, you can easily get up to two grand pretty quick, but you don't have to. Okay, so that's the fly pattern. That's uh, my version of a grave digger. Um, I guess it looks sort of like a grave digger, and, but sort of not. So hope you enjoyed that. We'll see how this video turns out. This is, again, me filming on an iPhone 13 Pro with the macro lens. So have a good one. Thanks for watching.